December drive all number three. This is the Ridge Rock Danchi. I'm going to get this on the table, show you guys the truck a little bit, and get it outside. Take a look. The Ridge Rock right here. I've cut the body a little bit to kind of shorten that up. I'm staying with the 2S because I don't want to break these axles. It has 37 turn motors in it. See there, right there. It's got dual 1080 ESC. It's got a hacked Fly Sky GT3C. It's got some nice, cheap, heavy 1.9 beadlock wheels, Proline crawlers, uh, super soft foams. These are actually off of Super Light SV1. You can see I've used these a pretty good bit. 25 kg servos. This thing is ready to go. Let's get it outside. Another start on the ramp. What we got here. Let's see if I can just let this do its thing. Ah, oh, not so good there. And on to the crawl. Now, even with the eight tooth pinion gears that are in this, 37 turn motors, uh, it needs a lot more reduction. It's like if the reduction was lower, it would actually have less clog stall because the motors would have more of a mechanical advantage over everything. But you know what? Let's talk about this build for just a little bit. Um, started out as pretty much it was <laughs> it was meant for budget, you know, budget crawler and all that because. These things are not very expensive. Um, not, not expensive at all. They got plenty of capabilities. Um, I wish the aftermarket would be get behind this a little bit more, but it doesn't really seem like it's going to, and these have been out for a little while here, so. Yeah. I'd like to see the aftermarket get behind these, come up with all steel gears and all these things. It'll be kind of nice. But anyway, started out as a budget build, and then I finally ordered some motors, and they came in, and the motors were, ooh, that is wild right there. The motors came in, and they were completely locked up. As in, like, they, uh, there we go, a little full steer action, crab action. So I kind of just put it off to the side and just kind of forgot about it. But then again, you know, you guys kept commenting about it, so I'm like, you know what? Let's go ahead and see if I can get some more ordered. I did, and luckily for me, these, this set was actually good. Oh, I got to get everything set up over here. This is probably not going to be very good. Here, let me see if I can... Oh, wrong way. What I'm trying to do now... Here's some of the dig features that this thing has, which did not work at all. Now, as far as the build of this goes, it was basically pretty simple. Very cheap vehicle and keep it all budget. And I did that. I'm, I, was, I was happy with where it went, you know, staying within the budget of like $300, I believe it was. So, but then, I decided, okay, budget's done. Let's go ahead and order the motors, which are actually pretty cheap. These motors are only about $6 a motor or something. But when they came in, they were completely locked up. I decided, well, okay, let's put some oil on them. Maybe they've been sitting on the shelf for too long. They were just completely locked up. So I went ahead and hit them with some good 3S power and completely burnt them things up. I mean, just smoked them. So at that point, I just kind of put everything in a box and put it up. You guys commenting about this is the reason why it's back running. And that's because you guys wanted to see it. So I ordered another set of motors and these are actually good. So no issues at all. Everything running super smooth. I put the 1080 ESCs in it just to give me the dig that I can go like that's back in pulling and then you go the other way with it now you got dig like that gotta figure out my buttons but 
the gearing of this and then the small motors you know it doesn't really hold as well as like you know a real moa like a berg or a bully or something like that so it's kind of it's still kind of on the low end of things especially when you start talking about you know moas and all like what this is but it's a fun little vehicle it's easy to get into it's relatively cheap to mod you don't need the 1080 escs in it and just go have fun i would say probably the most expensive part of this is the 1080 escs it's about i guess uh 85 to 90 dollars in those uh the tires you know i don't use these stock tires because when I did these motors and all that, I found, looked at the inside of these axles and they were really, really weak looking. So I'm just gonna stay with the one nines because I'd rather not go stripping gears. And in the Ridge Rock groups and all that, certain guys, they talk about, yeah, I killed another set of gears and this and that. So I'd rather not get into all of that, you know? Keep it nice, simple, easy. And besides, for the most part, one nines do fine around here where I'm at. Now, if I was to take this on the trail, like say just really out in the dirt area and all that, the 2.2s will be better. Because for, with us, it's all sand and all that. And the stock tires on this are actually probably really good for the sand and stuff. I just haven't got them out there yet. It moves good. Lots of features. It's actually a really nice entry-level crawler, in my opinion. And it does have potential. There are some wild builds out there. <laughs> Did you see that? It's like it had to pee. Nice drive. It's got more potential than what I can give it though. I need to do just a little bit of something else. Maybe I need to go ahead and try that 3S. Just try to keep it alive. That'd be kind of interesting, wouldn't it? Well, anyway, guys, I will put links in the description for this and the mods on it, everything I could find. Make sure you check that out. They are affiliate links, AMA, eBay, Amazon, and Horizon. So guys, check that description, use those links, make sure you're subscribed, and thank you all for watching. Guys, if you like what you see, hit that like button, hit that subscribe button, and ring that bell. So, in the description, there's a link to become a channel member. If you want to become a channel member, it's a very simple $2, $5, $10, or if you really got some money, $25 a month. It's a simple way to support the channel. So, get that, and I am doing monthly giveaways for members only, so you might want to consider it. So, guys, use those links. Make sure you're subscribed. Thank you all for watching.